it to either side, of course, but let's say I can't fight inside and he's burying this arm into me. It's a good, good time to shrug. So the way we're gonna learn it is my left hand is gonna come over top of that arm and I wanna put my sharp part of my blade, right, that knuckle right in this kind of throat area. I'm gonna push, but my other hand's gonna pull, kind of like making scissors here. I'm not gonna hold that for long, but I, I don't wanna make it super, super comfortable for me either. So I'm here. And now when I'm ready to shrug, I'm gonna step but I want to make sure I don't start to cheat or telegraph what I'm doing. So a lot of times kids want to step and then start the shrug. I want to step and almost look the way that I'm not going. I want to pin this arm into me. Put your head up. Step. See, I haven't moved yet. Now when I'm ready to pull, now is when I start the shrug motion. So I'm going to pull both hands into me. My left hand just grabs whatever it can. And my elbow has got to draw a rainbow. It doesn't do anything but guide this arm to the other side of my head. My right hand is the hand that's pulling. Okay? Once I'm here, I gotta keep bending at the waist. My nose is gonna go towards my knee as if I was about to do a cartwheel. And then he slides right by me. So here's the steps. I get my grip, step, but my head doesn't move yet. I, I almost snake it with my ear. Step. And then I rotate. Everything goes to my knee. He slides right by. When I get, we kind of talked about getting this going. When I do this, just like when we came inside and did that, he naturally wants to come back into me. And that's what helps my shrug. So I'm here. Now when he comes into me, step. Shrug. And over the top. Step. You guys see how the step isn't part of it, right? I plant my foot always to the outside of his leg so that I don't pull him into me. So step, and then turn and shrug. It's not a duck under. Okay. We'll do a few different ways. Okay, but let's see how you guys do with this first. Just got one, two. It's gonna force me to do the correct motion on the step, and then I'm just taking my elbow over top and not letting go of this arm. It's gonna pinch it right into his ear. So you might know it like this, we can bump. But I'm just taking it a step further and I'm grabbing my arm. Good way to learn it. Okay? You might not do it like this in a match, or maybe you do. And I'm stepping and I'm just twisting, like I'm about to like do a cartwheel. See that? It's like that windmill throw by, it's that same motion. And then this hand, don't go elbow deep, just grab his hip. And when he starts to run away from you, I still got this claw, square up. Yep, don't chase him. Instead, just drop to your knee. Okay, I don't wanna get into that chase battle. So I'm not, square up. I'm not just chasing, chasing, chasing. I pull, I pull him into me. And that kind of helps secure his hips. Right. Let's go one, two. Every time he goes to shrug, he, he high five snaps. So this is not a snap where I'm trying to drag the guy to the ground. This is a, I'm just trying to make that sound. So I got, I get my hands where I want them, and then both hands, I'm going to open, close, and then shrug. And that'll make them blink, and just help, help uh, disguise your shrug. You know when you start going like this, guys start to feel it coming? So instead of going shrug when I'm ready to go, I'm going to go high five, I'm going to open, close. And then shrug, so do this. And he also stiffens up and tries to grab you harder, which helps slide by. So I get my grab. One, two. Both hands work together. One, two. One, two. The same way I snap, the same way I shrug. Ultra slow motion. One more time. One, two. I'm still stepping before I do all that. Step. Okay, secure your two. This hand's got to come to the hip. All right, let's go. One, two. 